I'm out. Welcome back to Backyard Blinky. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we get through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. This is from Daisy. It is the Winchester M14. A lot of you guys have wrote to me. I know you have one of these. I do too. I like this thing. I mean, I've had it for a while. Now, if you get one of these, I had to go back and look up the prices. I mean, it's been a little while. Depending on where you look, I mean, you're talking about anywhere from 60 to, to 80 bucks. I mean, I found a wide price range just depending on where I was looking. But, you get this thing, take it out of the box. It is all plastic, except for the magwell, obviously the barrel. You cock it to fire. It does have fully adjustable rear sights on it. It has a little peep sight on here. So you got left and right, you got up and down. It has a fixed front sight completely. Let's have these sling swivels on them. The safety basically is a, a trigger block, but still referred to a lot of times as a suicide safety because once you put your finger in there, you can actually move the safety out of the way and you go off without you knowing. Two CO2 cartridges. Go into the little carry case. See the hole? Right into the magwell. That is where our twin rotary magazine goes. Eight shots on one side, pull it out, flip it over. Got eight shots on the other. Magazine releases right there. That'll release the magazine and drop it out. This thing advertises like about 700 feet per second. The rotary magazine set is in this one. You can put BBs in it, so it will shoot either pellets and or BBs. It just, it's up to you. I like the pellets out of this one. Let's shoot it again. super simple to sight in and because they're all plastic they weigh virtually nothing the only thing that and not all of them might not be this way the only thing that kind of gets me a little bit is the uh, we're unloaded there's a the magazine it's a trigger pull on it there's a lot of take up and then it's Kind of hard to get over the get over the hump. So it's, it's got a pretty stiff trigger. Other than that, though, it's not really a lot to complain about. I mean, it once you sight it in, it fires and it fires well. Now, there's not really anywhere on here to be able to mount, you know, an optic or anything like that. And I'm sure you could probably modify it in some way, but you know drilling into the ABS up here. You could get away with that. Take your time, make sure it's lined up right though. But they, uh, these things have been around for, for quite some time. Plastic buttstock, pretty much plastic everything. The only drawback to this one, that's not really a drawback, I mean, you're hanging around outside with your kids or with your friends or something like that. Doesn't really matter, but reloading these little rotary magazines be a little time consuming. 
That's okay. This means you uh, get to spend more time outside. Disconnected from all the electronics. Except for the uh, occasional YouTube video. And yes, I am wearing one of these shirts because I forgot something. When will it ever end? Maybe that's what I need to do is ask for help from these things. The shirts, I mean. All right. But even at uh, 700 feet per second, I mean, this thing has got a lot of, to it. See the spinning the spoons completely off. With the twin cartridges on here, you can get a lot of rounds out of the, the both of them. Um, I don't remember exactly how many this one will do, and, and it's not really specific, you know, in any of the information. It'll kind of give you an idea, but, you know, everything's a little different. But with the twin cartridges in here, you get a lot more shot time. And, I mean, it's a, it's a much harder hit, too. Let's see. But it pretty much once you get it to, once you get it sighted in, it's pretty much right where it needs to be. They're a lot of fun. They're really nostalgic too. I mean, the M, the M14 through the 60s and 70s was a lot of people's, you know, through the Vietnam War and whatnot. That was it's kind of a go-to. It was the basic design of it, the simplicity to use, and uh, they had a lot of stopping power. But these are great as far as replicas and whatnot and this thing right here is it, it's no different i mean it's a it's a lot of fun a lot of fun i just figured i'd share this with you and pick one of these up for yourself got that okie dokie seal of approval until next time my name is charles been back to our blanket